Hi you guys, how's it going? My name is Robin Baxter, aka B the Poet and Visual Artist. And today I am going to talk to you about my art charity project called Maasai and I. We doing all of that straight born indigenous swag. We still right. killing lions right. and collecting the teeth round our necks. That's how we doing it out here. That's how they doing it, and that's what inspired me. Um, but they're also going through a struggle right now where because of change, they're kind of struggling to get food, struggling to get water, and struggling to live because they keep getting government interference. So the 50% of the proceeds of each piece of art that we sell today is going to go towards the tribe to help them live more indigenous, give them more education so they can kind of learn what's going on, still keep up with the world, and still keep up with the way they've always done it, their history, their tradition, the way they've always done it. So that's what tonight is about. It was actually a project that was inspired by the Maasai tri tribe in Africa. They live between Kenya and Tanzania. So I was looking through a book called Faces of Africa, just a whole bunch of pictures and, you know, just a whole bunch of beautiful. And, you know, one of the pictures that really inspired me were those of the Maasai people. So when I researched them, I looked them up online, uh, you know, I was finding out that even though in right now in the year 2010, which was when I was looking through the book, uh, you know, they were still living in the, as, the, as indigenous people the way they always, the way they always had, still doing their same rituals, still had all of their culture, even though everything around them was telling them, you must change, you must conform, you must become this Eurocentric idea of what we want you to be. They said no. No one is stopping us from educating our children. No one is stopping us from recapturing our spirituality. Only person stopping us is guess who? Ourselves. Ourselves. Because you know, I was just really inspired by their struggle, and you know, but I also recognized that they were slowly losing grip on what they were because of the fact that you know they were starting to lose their water, they were not getting enough food, they weren't getting enough health care, and things of that nature. So I was wondering, you know, the idea popped in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, I can use my art as a way to help and donate money. So Messiah and I is an ongoing art charity project. It never stops. It's never going to stop. At least uh, I co collaborated with a few other artists, including Autumn Anderson, Abdul Badi, and Justin Thomas. And as well, I had contributing artist Tracy Smith, who contributing some African-esque art to the, to the reception as well. We had some live performances, and we definitely had a whole bunch of fun. Right now, we're going to get back to the tunes with DJ Jamed. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Tell me how many gods did you sacrifice in your lost tongue in travel? Stolen babies of morn and deliverance pray you a new savior. Subdued by master desires to make you slave to a book, tailored to make you bastard like mockery of the Lord. They call you beings of a savage nature, claim they civilize when they gang raped our culture's shame. Most of us never even seen our mother. Disembodied from purpose and mock the ill concepts of ham and for this you'll suffer. Rights aren't to be stolen for you to find God, so tell me something. When did you lose her? In the guts of rotted wood ships or in the history of your cotton shirts? How they say the fabric of your life reassures you in Jesus' blue eyes and you be blessed in his betrayal cause what kind of messiah watches kinfolk burn on the same crosses they used to martyr him? Blame you. Let's give a shout out to the photographer, George Laguerre, a quick hand clap people. Also a 
from heart to also go to the pause and hit me up. Alright, all my information is online. Also got a shout out to my Lord Society, Purple Film Babies in the building. So I definitely also have to make sure um, I give a shout out to Imperial Media Collective. Cameron, he's our official cameraman now. He was the cameraman at the first reception for Masai and I. So now he's going to be our official cameraman working with the Masai and I project. So we have to give a shout out, you know, show some love. Make sure you use his services because he's always doing something great. Always working with people in the community and we appreciate you, baby. Also, we have to give a shout out to the people who sponsored the Masai and I first reception. We hope they'll continue to give us sponsorship for future receptions and also any Anybody else that is willing to donate, we're looking for you too. Thanks. I'm just here for the ride, I swear it Feels like I'm dreaming, it's vividly defined Yeah, so call me whatever you want yeah. Tell me whatever you like yeah. But let's get one thing straight yeah. You know my name, so yeah. I run this town when I'm on this mic Yeah, yeah. so here I yeah. go, B.O.B. Yeah. Five and right, yeah. I don't know, lead I don't yeah.